So in today's video, I'm gonna jump onto the computer here and show you exactly how you can automate LinkedIn to generate leads for your business. How's it going everyone? So last week I shared a video on this channel about how you can utilize LinkedIn Sales Navigator to build prospecting lists and generate leads for your social media marketing agency. If you haven't checked that video out already, there will be a button somewhere around here for you to go back and take a look at that. But one of the things that a lot of you asked for was, okay, this is great, I now know how to use Sales Navigator and LinkedIn to build lead lists, but how do I actually connect with those people? How do I connect with them at scale? How do I talk to them, etc.? And I had a lot of people asking me for a video on that. Okay, so let's get straight into things. I'm gonna show you how you can automate some of your LinkedIn outreach and LinkedIn prospecting to uh, generate more leads, more meetings, and hopefully more sales for your business. Whether you're a agency owner, marketing agency, social media marketing agency, or you just work for a B2B business, LinkedIn is and will continue to be the number one platform where you can come to generate leads and engage in conversations with your target buyers. It's the easiest place to find them and the easiest place to connect with them. Now, one thing I do wanna say though with LinkedIn automation is everyone can do this, anyone can do this, and yes, you will see some results just from automating messaging outreach, but you will see the best results if you actually focus on a LinkedIn strategy as a whole rather than just automation outreach. You wanna be treating your profile like it's a landing page and optimizing your profile for conversions and for messaging. Um, you wanna be doing content marketing on the platform, engaging with people on the platform. There are tons of other ways that you need to be utilizing LinkedIn. And if you combine all of that together with automation, then you'll see the best results. But today we're just gonna focus on automation and outreach. And I'm gonna show you two tools and two ways that you can utilize automation within your sales process here on LinkedIn. So the first thing I wanna to say to you is if you haven't already watched the video I released last week, um, or depending on when you're watching this, it might've been a while ago, about how you can build prospecting lists within LinkedIn Sales Navigator, please go ahead and check that out now. I'll try and put a little pop-up somewhere on the screen so that you can watch that one. So watch that first, and today we're not gonna talk about building the lead list, we're gonna show you how you can automate that messaging to them. So let's get straight into things. The first thing that you wanna do is go to the lead list that you have built. So that will be in Sales Navigator or within your LinkedIn search. And this is one that we built um, on the video or we talked about on the video last week and one that I use frequently. So this is a search for founders and co-founders in London who are within computer software and have used the keyword SaaS within their profile and they have between 11 and 50 employees because that's the target market for my agency business. And you can see I have a lead list of 117 results. So not a ton of people, but this is a good number of people to get started with on a small campaign and to show you guys how you can utilize this automation. So as I said, we'll look at two tools. The first one is a tool that is perfect for any of you out there who have like very minimal budget to spend or just getting started and are happy to be a little bit more hands-on. It costs $15 a month and it is called Linked Helper. You'll see it here on the screen. So if you wanna download that one, just go to their website, check it out. It is a Google Chrome extension. A Couple of things to say about Linked Helper. It works very well, the functionality is great. Um, it's slightly limited, but for $15 a month, what can you expect? Uh, the interface is a little bit tricky to get your head around and to get started with. And the other negative is that you always have to have LinkedIn open and running and your computer turned on for it to work. So just bear those things in mind. Um, but it is a great tool. So you go to your lead list within LinkedIn or LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And then once you've downloaded Linked Helper, it will be here within LinkedIn. So it will live down in the bottom right corner of your screen. And this is what the interface looks like. So you guys can see what I mean when I say it's not the easiest to get through. Basically LinkedIn Helper or Linked Helper as it's called has tons of different functionalities like you can see here. You can visit people's profiles. So you can visit like tens, hundreds of people's profiles every single day and hope that they will then come and look back at you. You can automatically follow people. You can send invitation requests and personalized invitation requests. You can send welcome messages, messages to your connections, in mails, you can endorse people, the list goes on. There is a lot that you can do with this. And today we'll be focusing on their collect, select and invite feature. 
So this is where you build a list, you collect those contacts, you choose the ones that you want and you then invite them. So you send invitation messages to them and that is an automated process. And then I'll show you that you can use the message to recently added connections to then send them a follow-up message. That's one of the limitations of linked helper though is that you can only send two messages to the same group. So what you do is you select this option here, collect, select and invite. And the first step is you need to collect this list. So I already prepared this for you earlier. I called this list YouTube video just to show you. You then press collect contacts for inviting and I'll just show you what happens. So the you press that, the automation will run. You'll see this in the top right hand corner and it will then start going through the list and collecting all of those contacts that you've put together and it will add them into a list. And you can see I collected 81 just because I wanted to pause and get on with things here. And to view that list, you just press view collected. You'll see here are the 81 contacts. You can see their profiles, their names, etc. If for any reason you wanted to remove some people, you can select the ones you wish to remove and you could say delete selected. So it will take them out of the queue for you. And that has been done. So you see it collects all the leads. Then the most important thing is the connection request. So this is where you start to automate the messaging sequence. This is where you build out your messaging sequence. As I said, with Linked Helper, you can only do a connection request and then a welcome message. And the welcome message is sent. If they accept your request, it will then send them this welcome message. So just bear that in mind. With LinkedIn, you wanna make sure you're sending a connection request and a personalized connection request to everyone you connect with. Don't be that guy or that girl that just presses connect and doesn't send anything, it will not work. You wanna send a connection request, you want it to be somewhat personalized and you fill all that, that information in here. With Linked Helper, you can utilize these merge fields so it will personalize them a request. So you can say first name, click this and it will put their first name in and you write in your message here, you then press save and then close and that is done. All you need to do is then go to this invite tab and press start profiles inviting and this is what will happen. I've already done this list so I'll pause it in a second but you'll see start profiles inviting. It will go through the list automatically. This will then run in the background as long as you leave it open. One by one, it will send that connection request messaging to all of those people that you have in your list and it just goes through one by one. It takes a certain amount of time between the two. You can see I'm not doing anything here, yet the page is scrolling. It's pretty cool. It'll be a bit weird if you've never used something like this before. It will feel like there's a robot taking control of your computer. Um, but that's what happens. So it goes through the list. It sends them all that connection messaging, connection requests. And you wanna make sure you have a welcome message going out to those people too, because with any kind of sales conversation, you need to follow up with a lead. I think the average is between six and 12 times before anyone will ever purchase from you. So just one connection request is not enough. You need to be doing more. With Linked Helper, you can only do two. I recommend like at least four or five. But basically what we do with Linked Helper is you then go to message to recently added connections and you choose the invite list. So you would choose YouTube video. You would type a message that you want it to be sent to them here. You would save it and then you would go here and press run autoresponder and it will then start running. And basically what that does is throughout the day, it will periodically go through and check that list that you've been inviting and anyone who's accepted, it will send them the request, it will send them the message, sorry. So you can see this is a great way if you've built a LinkedIn like lead list, this is a fantastic way for you to be consistently messaging them, reaching out to them throughout the day without having to be on LinkedIn, without having to type in loads of stuff, it will do everything for you. So this is a great tool, it's an awesome tool, it's one that I've used for a very long time. For the price point, it is very, very good, and I think you'll love it. So this one is called Linked Helper, and that is the first way that you can automate your prospecting outreach on LinkedIn. The second thing I wanna show you though, is if you have a little bit more money to spend, not, it's not even a lot, I think the prices start from $35 a month and go up to $75 a month. There is this new, or I say new because I only discovered it last week, but there is this LinkedIn tool that I am now using called JetBuzz. And JetBuzz basically does everything Linked Helper does, but it does it in a much easier way, much nicer way, and it has some additional features too. So with JetBuzz, you can have an you have analytics of your messaging campaigns. With Linked Helper, you have no analytics. You can set multiple step sequences. So rather than just a connection request and a welcome message, you can send as many as you want and space them out as long as you want. Um, it's much easier to use. It's all in one dashboard. You don't have to have your computer on and LinkedIn running all the time. It just runs in the background. So that's just a few of the main benefits on JetBuzz. And I want to say to you all watching this, I will put in the very first link in the description below a link for a seven-day free trial for JetBuzz. 
That is an affiliate link of mine. So if you end up purchasing JetBuzz through my link, I will get a little kickback from you each month. And to show my appreciation, if you do sign up through my link, I would say to you, sign up through my link. If you start using the tool, send me proof, like send me a picture of your receipt or your confirmation. And I will send you all of the LinkedIn outreach templates for messaging that I've been using. So I have a few different templates you see here that I'm running right now for my business and constantly testing and tweaking. So if you want those templates, go ahead, utilize JetBuzz and use my link. I will really appreciate it. And I will give you those templates for free. But let's let's get to JetBuzz. So you can see this is the dashboard itself, really nice and clean. It shows me your stats. So how many requests you've sent in the last 24 hours, 48, etc. How many have been accepted? How many people have replied? Your different campaigns that you're running. So you can run multiple campaigns, um, upcoming tasks, what's happening next. And it's, it's really, really nice to use. So I'll show you what it looks like. This is a campaign that I've been running or was running last week. I was testing. So you import all of the people. And the way you do that is if you use LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you just build the search, you copy the Sales Navigator URL, paste it into JetBuzz, it will pull through all of the people. Or within JetBuzz, you can actually build LinkedIn searches within the tool itself, which is awesome. And you'll see a list of all of the people here. Great thing about this is it shows you which stage of the messaging they're at. It tells you if they've replied, you can filter by people who have replied, people who have shown no interest, people who haven't accepted the request, etc and you can filter them by that. Even better, you can actually reply to them directly in JetBuzz. So you see here is the chat. So I don't even need to go into LinkedIn to respond to these people, and I can see all of the messaging here. Um, so that's like importing the people in. Then you set your steps. This is where you set your messaging cadence. So you set the connection request, you set the welcome message, and you can choose exactly when they receive that welcome message, which you can't do in Linked Helper. You can then set follow-up messages. So you can say two days after the previous message, if no reply, you could add another step and say, send them this message after six months. Like there's there's loads of stuff that you can do here, which is um, really incredible and way better than Linked Helper. Then you can see your settings. So you just turn the campaign on. And then this is the best bit. You can see your statistics. So with Linked Helper, it's impossible to track your statistics unless you like manually put everything into a Google Sheet. So here you can see everything live, real time, up to date. You can see how many people accepted your connection request, how many people replied to messages. That's really good because then you can alter your campaigns and change your campaigns. So I know that this messaging campaign that I ran, it was only a small one, 73 requests. But my connection rate, only 21% of people accepted those requests. Only 3% replied to the connection request and 3% replied to other messages. And for me, like that's good. It's, it's better than like a cold email campaign. But for my LinkedIn campaigns, this is very low. I expect anywhere between 40 and 65 to 70% connection rate and uh, like 10% response rate. So this for me is low and I know that this campaign hasn't worked so I can then go back and adjust the messaging and tweak it to find out why. Uh, you can also go to the inbox here and this is where you can manage all of your LinkedIn messages directly within JetBuzz. And you can also go to the tasks queue where you'll be able to see what you're working on, or sorry, what JetBuzz is working on for you. Now, it looks like my internet may have just dropped out for a second here, so it's not loading. But all in all, that is JetBuzz. It is a great tool. I would really recommend it. So there'll be a link in the description below. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you will start to utilize some of what I've showed you today to generate leads for your business, increase the velocity at which you're doing outbound prospecting on LinkedIn. If you have any questions, please just put them in the comment section down below. And if you're new to this channel, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and you press that subscribe button. And I will see you again for another video very, very soon. Mm -hmm.